What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and we have Diablo Immortal news. Okay, we have a Diablo Immortal mini update. Season 3 Battle Pass begins soon. Okay, Battle Pass coming tomorrow if you're watching this. Today's Tuesday. Um, pretty cool uh, banner they have right here. Okay, welcome back, adventurers. We're most pleased to unveil another batch of content updates coming to Diablo Immortal. There will be some server maintenance starting August 2nd from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, blah blah blah. So y'all get it. The update's coming soon. Uh before we showcase what the burning hells. Okay, so the next battle pass season, they're going with burning hells. Okay, sounds cool. Have in store for you. We're gonna provide additional clarity around our content update cadence going forward. Our current plan is to release new content for Diablo Immortal every two weeks. That's great. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see that they're putting this much effort into the game. But all the money they're making from it, they, they should be. <laughs> this will come in form of either a mini or major update. Okay. With mini updates, player can participate. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we're getting. Okay. For the Codex. Season 3 Battle Pass Aspect of Justice. Okay. Wraithborn Invasion Daily Event. Huh. That sounds interesting. And Hunger and Moon limited time event is coming back once again. What's this, the third time? Uh, I'm not really complaining. I mean, you get a free legendary crest. You could always use some of those. Uh, and future, I'm sorry, feature updates. Okay, so they're going to be making some changes. Uh, let's see. Season 3 Battle Pass Aspect of Justice. So this is going to be this cosmetic skin, I guess. Uh, for completing the battle pass. Uh, pretty cool. I like the color. The gold looks really nice, especially with the black and the gray mixed in. I, I like it. The weapon's cool. It would be cool to see it on different classes for sure. Uh, upholding, similar to Justin in Sanctuary, a land plagued by darkness. Seemingly insurmountable task. In these moments, walk in the Archangel Tyrell, Tyrell's path. Join the pursuit of righteousness and let it shield you from the burning hell's wrath. Okay, so they're they're just uh hyping up their their new uh, battle pass, which is which is cool. Uh, let's see, aspect of justice, forty rings worth of challenges and rewards. That's really cool. Such as legendary gems, crest, hilts, and more. Has it always? I think it's always been forty, though. Yeah, I think forty is the normal uh amount. Yeah, collectors, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Wraithborn Invasion Daily Event, huh? What is this? We, we're going to have to read through all of this. A sinister invasion born from the vilest machinations of the burning hells is on the way, the Wraithborn. With their armies in tow, have besieged sanctuary. At 12 p.m. server time each day, server time huh so that's two o'clock for me i'll be working so that's a bummer man uh darren adventures can band together to repel hordes of bloodthirsty elite demons if the minions of the burning hells fail to claim the zone they're attacking gorgothra i think that's the new um helkery raid boss will seek to finish the job herself sending the empowered echo of her likeness to clean up any resistance huh a show of immense strength against the Rathborn's attempt to control the zone will be mostly rich, repaid in, richly repaid in gear. So it sounds like as you complete these daily events, you'll be getting hopefully legendary gear. I mean, it says here with the top three damage dealers receiving six enchanted dust to sweeten their victory. So, huh, that sounds kind of like a raid event. And the top people get their bonus chest. I guess that is going to be the same kind of mechanic. But the repaid in gear thing makes me makes me at least hope that we're going to be getting legendary uh, gear from it. I guess we'll have to see. Uh, Rathborn invasion can only be completed once per day. And additional Rathborn will look to launch invasions of their own as they're discovered by Rayx Helkery. Okay. Very interesting. I'm still disappointed, though, about the time. Uh, 12 p.m. server time is 2 p.m. for me. I'll be at work. So, I mean, I guess I guess on the weekend, I, I'm wondering how long this is going to last for. Does it even say? It doesn't say how long. Uh, is this going to be like a permanent feature? Huh. Well, I guess on the weekends I'll be able to do this or if, I'm, if I take a break or something at work. Okay, so we get the gist of it. There's going to be an event. Uh, every day, 12 p.m. server time, 
uh, basically you'll go to wherever they tell you. I'm sure they'll let us know in game. And uh, you could you could basically it sounds like it's some kind of siege, right? So you have to defend whatever area they're telling you to defend from these elite monsters. So pretty cool. Uh, Hunger and Moon limited time event. Y'all know what this is. They've this been in the game for the past month. So like I said, it's gonna be nice because we will be getting um legendary crest from it as well as all the other rewards so that's a good uh i'm glad they're running it back uh feature updates okay so we got a warband improvement you can now see if members of your warband are online and their current in-game activity okay that's a big improvement so now you're able to see like what what your warband is doing at the moment and if they're available to come do whatever you know, you're wanting to do with them. I like that a lot. Uh, see they're online and you can see what they're doing. Pretty cool. Uh, yes, it has been difficult. Uh, we've received feedback, difficult to organize warband activity. This improvement of warbands will aid in streamlining the experience. For sure, for sure. That's what I just said. I really like that one. That's a good uh, good improvement right there. Uh, vote to kick. Okay, so this is just, if you're in a group or a raid or whatever, See, this is nice. I mean, you could always just tell the leader of the group just to kick the person, but now with the vote thing, I mean, it, it's just a good good feature. Basically, everybody could vote to kick somebody. Uh, now, I'm wondering if for, for a player to be kicked, it must be decided by a unanimous vote. Okay, so instead of the leader having to manually kick somebody, everybody could vote, I guess, and I guess it'll automatically kick them. That's an upgrade. That's That's very good. I like that. Uh, very good okay well that's it all right guys well are y'all excited i'm i'm always wanting to see new content in diablo Immortal. i play this game every day so very very excited for the um invasion we'll have to see how that goes but anyway thank y'all